My name is Liam Young and I am a speculative architect and film director and I tell stories about the global, urban and architectural implications of new technologies. I believe that fiction is an extraordinary shared language. It's how our culture has always shared and disseminated ideas. So whether it be through the imaginary worlds in my own work or the imaginary worlds we might build for Hollywood, what we do is use these fictional places as sites in which to prototype important ideas about who we are or how the climate is changing or how technology is changing how we relate to one another. So what we're interested in doing is putting into the world utopian or at least hopeful or optimistic visions of the future and trying to help people to rally around these types of narratives where they can actually see viable alternatives they can be engaged in discussion and debate about what sort of changes might be necessary in order to deal with such an extraordinary scale of crisis like climate change. So what we're doing in planetary redesign is bringing together these two works of planetary scaled action. And with costumes, props, research interviews that have gone into the making of the film to try and flesh out these two visions of our planet in the future. Something like Great Endeavour is formed from a series of reports, um, scientific articles embedded in academic journals that speak to the scale of carbon removal that's required and the most viable solutions that we might have to do it at that scale the design and creation of a planetary network of carbon removal machines. And this really represents our generation's moon landing. Really my job as a designer, as a filmmaker, is one of science visualization. Planet City is a vision of an imaginary city for 10 billion people, the projected population of the world in 2050. The, the byproduct of Planet City is actually the creation of its opposite, a global scale national park where the densification of our urban environments into this single city affords us the possibility to both return stolen land but also to reforest the planet. What we're trying to do with this exhibition is introduce audiences to alternative ideas and alternative visions of what a sustainable future might look like. And I hope that seeing both the research, the costumes, the props, the films will also equip audiences with some of the tools that they might need to go out and start to imagine and invent their own futures. Mm -hmm.